I wish you this month of June. Welcome to this month. May the Lord recover your finance. Everything you have, may the Lord increase. Everything you lost, may the Lord bring them back. Hallelujah. We pray for financial recovery, financial breakthrough. May the Lord open doors, financial doors may be opened in the name of Jesus. So we welcome the family of Naphtali, also who are ushering this church the whole month. We welcome you and we bless you. We thank the family of Dan who was on duty the, the month of May. You did a great job. May the Lord bless you. So may the Naphtali family be anointed for this this month. Amen? Amen. So our month topic is financial recovery. Monthly topic. But today we're going to talk on the Abrahamic blessings. The Abrahamic blessings. When we, we, we speak about financial recovery, the first thing that comes is the depositor, the one who got this blessing and the one who distributed this blessing. It's Abraham. Let us read the word of God in the uh, book of Galatians. The book of Galatians, epistle of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 14. Galatians 3, 14. The Bible said, He he, Jesus, redeemed us in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come to Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jesus did a great work on the cross the work of redemption he redeemed us from the bondage of Satan where people were in bondage spiritually physically mentally, financially when Jesus came he redeemed us from all those odds all those problems. And the Bible say, his redemption, the purpose of this redemption was to give us the blessing that were given to Abraham. Amen? So everyone, be Jews, Jewish or Gentile, might receive this blessing. Remember in the biblical time, the world were divided into two people. The world of Jewish and the world of Greek. All people who were not a Jewish, Jewish were called a Greek or Gentiles. So people understood that at that time, especially Jewish people, they understood, they knew that all the blessings belong to them, not to Gentiles. So when the apostle Paul came, he got this revelation that the blessings of Abraham also were given to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So today, we are partakers of that blessing but we must believe in Jesus we must have faith in Jesus so we might receive the promise of the spirit praise the Lord so the in Abraham the father of uh, the father of our faith we got these blessings when we have his faith 
through Jesus Christ also we receive these blessings. Who is, by the way, this Abraham? In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 up to 3. The book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 up to 3. The Bible says, Now, the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen? If we consider this verse, we see few things that God has promised to Abraham. The Bible says that the Lord told Abraham to leave his country his homeland to go where Jesus God will show him as a land to dwell in then when Abraham obeyed their promises followed him the Lord told him if you obey number one I will make you a great nation you will become in you, many nations will come out of you. I will greet you. I will make you into a great nation. You will become a nation, even if you are one. Even if people can see that you are one. But I will make you a great nation. That was the promise, promise of God. Number two, God told him, if you obey, come out to your land and go where I will show you. I will bless you. This blessing we have spiritual blessing and material blessing number three i will make you famous i will make you famous i will greatly honor you you are great will be elevated you will be honored you will be exalted above all names in this world number four you will be a blessing to others this means you will become a channel of blessings you will become a source of blessings you will provide for many. You will become a source of blessings. Number five. I will bless those who will bless you. Whoever. Everyone who will bless you. I will bless him. Everyone who will speak well of you. I will bless him. This Abrahamic blessing was very important. Number six, I will curse those who treat you with contempt. The one who will try to despise you, who will come with contempt with you, against you, I will curse him. Those are the promises that God told to Abraham. Number seven, all the families on earth will be blessed through you. All families, every family. For a family to become a blessing, they might come, they might go through Abraham. So all the families on earth will be blessed through you. Amen. So we see the Abrahamic blessings. This, all this promise from God is not only for Abraham, but also those who share the same faith with Abraham. So we have two people Two descendants of Abraham. Number one, we have his biological, biological son, a descendant. And we have spiritual descendant. Through Abraham, we have two people. Gentiles and biological children. So for biological children, his people are called the Hebrews. Hebrews. Hebrews are biological children biological son of abraham 
Today we call them Jewish. But they are not really Jewish because the term Jewish belongs to Judah only. But the, we have 12 sons of Jacob from Reuben to Benjamin. Those 12 sons are called the Hebrews. So, but because today people oh, are used to say Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Yes, we believe the term, but the term is just specific for Judah tribe. But when I say Hebrews, just in your mind, bear in your mind that I'm talking about Jewish people. Jewish people or Hebrew people. So these are biological sons of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judah. Twelve sons of Israel. So Israel's people are Hebrews. They are called Hebrew. So through his biological, we have Abraham had eight sons. Eight sons. He had eight sons. Abraham. We have one son with Hagar. Hagar was a servant from Egypt who came with Abraham when he, he went to Egypt for seeking food. When he came back, he came with a servant called Hagar. So Abraham had a son with this Hagar, with this servant. The son is called Ishmael. 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 Genesis 16, 15. We have another son from Sarah. Abraham had this son with Sarah called Isaac. Ishkah. Ishkah. Isaac. Isaac, which means he laughed. In Genesis, Genesis 21, 1 up to 3, we saw Abraham with Sarah gave son called Isaac or Iskah. And we have six sons with another lady, another woman called the Keturah. After the passing away of Sarah, Abraham had another wife. This wife was called the Keturah. Keturah and, uh, and Hagar were African, African girls. They came from Africa. Keturah and, uh, and uh, Hagar. But Sarah came from Iraq, Mesopotamia. But two other ladies, wives of Abraham, came from Africa. So with the Keturah, we have six sons. The firstborn is called Zimran, the second Jokshan, the third Medan, fourth Midian, fifth Ishbak, and uh, sixth Shua. Actually, Shua, you remember when, uh, when, um, when um, three friends of Job, remember three friends of Job, when they went to, to help Job, to console Job, one of them was the son of Ishba. Sorry, Shua. He was the Shuaite, the, the son, the great, great son of Keturah. So, and if we see Medan, through Medan, we have Midian, we have Efa, Efer. Efer, today in Somalia and Ethiopia, they have that language called Efer. Efer came from Medan, Medan, uh, Midian, where Moses took. Uh, his wife, um, Zipporah. Zipporah was uh, uh, from Medan. So, sorry, from Midian. From Midian. Midian, Jitro, Jetro. This were African people. So, uh, Abraham had eight sons. Uh, remember, the Bible didn't tell about girls, but Abraham probably had many also Doras. But because the, the, the culture in that time, they talked about male uh, only, but rarely they spoke about girl if this girl had played a, an important role in the history. So the Bible, uh, we mention this girl. But in the general uh, sense, 
only they spoke about sons, children, the boys. So Abraham had eight sons. And through this biological son, uh, we have today three great religions. Through Abraham, we have a three great religions. We have a Christian religion, Muslim religion, and a Judaism. The three great religions, actually, they, they, they come from Abraham. Abraham. Christian religion, Ju, 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 Judah, Judaism came first, then a Christian, then a Muslim. Actually, Islam came after Christian, 600 later. When Christianity started, the, the Quran was written later, w w was written soon. The Bible is ancient than the Quran because after 600 years, then the Islam was born. So we have a Christ Christianity today, according to the, <clears throat> to the statistic, we have 2.4 billion followers of Christ in the world. Uh, th this actually, I, 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 was, <clears throat> I was looking to statistic, but I doubt my, this is research from um, the source of pureresearch.org religion, uh, but I'm not really convinced with that because we with other sources christians are around four billion four billion but uh to be maybe scientifically let me use this because it's uh, it's uh, usually uh used by many pew research p-e-w research.org they they spoke about uh, 2.4 uh, uh, billion followers of Christ. All these are Gentiles. Gentiles. Through Abraham, many nations will come to faith. So we have 2.4 billion that confess the faith of Abraham. Muslim, they are 1.9 billion. 1.9 billion. And they say that this is a uh, uh, a religion that is increasing is growing every day. They have 1.9 billion. Remember, we have 8 billion on earth population. 8 billion. Muslim are 1.9 billion. Judaism from Jewish they are only 15.7 million because they are few. And you cannot become, uh, you cannot be born again in Judaism unless you, you have a mother or a father who has the, 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 that connection. So, all these people, Christian, Muslim, and the Jews, belongs to Abraham. Belongs to Abraham. They belong to Abraham. They are descendants of Abraham. What God said that many people, many families, we adopt the Abraham faith. We can see today, after around 4,000 years, we can see many people now, Christian all over the world, Muslim and Jew, Jewish people, they are Believing the same God as the God of Abraham. So, we have the son of Abraham, a biological descendant. Biological descendant, they made a covenant with God. They made a covenant with God. Remember in Luke 17, 1, 7, 70, 76. Luke 1, 70, 76. The Bible says, just as he promised through his holy prophet long ago. Now we be saved from our enemies and from all what who hate us. He has been merciful 
to our ancestors by remembering his sacred covenant. God made a covenant with the Jewish people through circumcision. Through circumcision, God made a covenant with them. And we have been rescued from our enemies so we can serve God without fear in holiness and righteousness for as long as we live. So there is some privileges this biological sons of Abraham had. His descendant had some privilege uh, maybe than other people. You will see for instance in Luke 13, 16 where the Bible said Luke 13, 16 when Jesus was going to heal this demonic woman he said this dear woman a daughter of Abraham has been held in bondage by Satan for 18 years. Isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath? This means they had this privilege to receive, to receive healing even on a Sabbath day. So they have some privileges, the descendants of Abraham. Even in Luke 19, 9, 10, you see why Luke is insisting here Luke was a Greek. Luke was not a Jewish man. He was, he was a, 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 a Gentile. So he's quoting a few privileges the descendant of Abraham had than other, the rest of the people. So Luke 19, verse 9. Jesus responded, Salvation has come to this home today. For this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. You see, salvation is for them. Redemption. Actually, the Jewish people, they don't say salvation. They say redemption. In all the Testament, it's redemption. But for us Gentiles, we call it salvation. But Jesus said, salvation has come to this Abrahamic son. Because these are some privilege they have more than other people. So, the reason for the success of the Hebrews are many. Because they are descendants of Abraham, through the blessings of Abraham, even his sons, his daughters, they have the same privilege as Abraham. They have God's law and the statute. This has reason that they are successful in the world. Number one, they have God's law and the statute. God has given them his laws and the statute. You will find this in Deuteronomy 6, 5, 9. Number two, they believe in educational system. Jewish people, they believe in educational system. Proverbs 4, 7, and 10, Ecclesiastes uh, 4, 7, and 10. You see, Jew, Jews have been greatly over-repressed among intellectual elites in the professional universities among businesses leaders and the very rich in the 20th century according to well and Posoni, in their book page 142 they calculated in the period of 1901 to 1962 they say that 16% of Nobel Prize winners for science were Jewish. These are descendants. They have privileges because they have gods at their God. Of the 1965 individual recipient of the Nobel Prize and the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Science between 1901 and 2023, at least 215 have been Jewish, Jews or people with at least one Jewish parent representing 22% of all recipients all over the world 22% with Nobel Prize are Jewish people because they value education for comparison 65.4% of Nobel Prize winners were either listen, Christians 
Because we too as a Christian, we have the blessing of Abraham. Praise the Lord. 64%, 65% of Nobel Prize winners were either Christian or had a Christian background. Jews comprise only 0.2% of the world population. Meaning their share of the winners is 110 times their population of the world population. Listen here. Jews have been awarded all six of the Nobel Foundation's award. In chemistry, 36, which means 19% of total. They are Jewish people. In economics, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you follow? This is amazing. There are few people. Around 10 million of people. But they have 22% of the global winner prize in the world. In economics, we have 38%. 38 people. Which means 41% of total. In literature, 16. 13% of total. Peace, 9. They are 9. 80% of total. In physics, 56, 25% of total. In physio uh, physiology and or medicine, 59, which means 26 of total. These are Jewish people. Because they have this privilege to become the sons, descendants of Abraham. Number three, they know their uniqueness. They know that they are unique. They have unique God. They have unique school. They have unique, unique, unique. Everything Jewish people. They are unique. Praise the Lord. Oh, let me go fast. <laughs> Sorry. Number four. They value mentorship. They know how to mentor other people. To come from ashes to throne. From nothing to something. From zero to one. Number five. Five. They value solidarity. They have what we call the community mindset. Community mindset. You will see in their kibbutz, they live in a community. Wow. Number six, they are hardworking people. They work hard. They don't eat the bread of uh, lazy people. No, they work so hard. Amen. According to a survey conducted in 2022, 44% of Jewish American said that they met. How much they met? Oh, can you read? Or you cannot read? Can you read? How much they met? 100,000 US dollar or more in United States in a comparison of 33% of Muslim. Remember, Muslim also, they are descendants of Abraham, but the Jewish people, they are in covenant. So the survey showed that 44% of Jewish people, middle people, middle people, they earn 100,000 a year than more than 33% of Muslim people. Yeah. The thirty-three percent of Muslim Americans say that they met at least a what? Less than you see? Muslim people are making how much? Less than thirty thousand. But forty-four percent of Jewish they made how much? Hundred. This is to prove the veracity of the word of God. When I give you this statistic is to, sh to, to make sure that the word of God is true. When God said that I will bless Abraham, I will bless his descendant, that is true. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number seven, they lend the nations. They lend corpor corporation than an individual. You will see Jewish people, they lend to the nation. You will, you will, you will hear about World Bank, IMF, that, that's money from Jewish people. All the, the, the nation in Africa, even in many nations, they have money from bank, World Bank. 
So this shows the veracity of the word of God. Praise the Lord. Number, ten, number nine, they promote each other. They promote each other. If a Jewish, a Jew, a Jewish community finds that, that there is someone who is poor among them, they promote him to become rich. When, where our, our people, when they find you poor, they will make sure you become poor, poor, more than poor. That, that's other people. But Jewish people, when you are poor, they will lift you up. But ours, they will make sure you become poor, more than the poorest people. That's, that's our mindset. So, they promote each other. You will find in the, maybe we talk this uh, in the, the other service. They, they, call it, they call it a Hebrew free loan society. Hebrew free, free loan society. Hebrew free loan society. Hebrew Free Loan Society aimed at assisting new immigrants to gain a foothold in their new country. Every Jew who immigrated in America, they give him a loan, a free loan. This is here in America. They call it Hebrew Free Loan Society. Amen. Do we have that culture also to help our, our immigrant? Our immigrant, when they come here, even you cannot lend him a car to go to shop. You say, ah, he has his relative. He has his own. Why did he come here? No. But the Jewish people, when a, a, a Jew girl or a boy come to America, he will go to apply to Jew free loan. They will give him money. And he will not give interest. It's like a startup. Start your own company. Then you will pay the same. You, you, you will bring back the money. If you cannot afford, no problem. Praise the Lord. Ah, this Abrahamic blessings. Praise the Lord. Do you follow me? Uh, do you follow me? Do you? Do you? That's, that, that's, that's Hebrew people. Yeah. They learn. They, they give their own people money. They say, okay, what do you want to do? What's your project? What's your school? What kind of school you want? What university you want to attend? We give you free loan. It's why we find everywhere Jewish people are on top. But our people is to kill each other. To bewitch each other. That's our problem. So let, let me finish. Oh, I'm sorry. I went too long. Let me finish with spiritual son, Gentiles. This was for Jewish people. So, we as the Gentiles, I will read just the verse, then we understand. Galatians 3, 6, 7. We share the same blessing too. Galat Galatians 3, 6, 9. In the same way, Abraham believed God and God accounted him as righteous because of his faith. Verse 7. The real children of Abraham then are those who did what? The real children of Abraham are what? What kind? Who put their faith in God. If you put your faith in God of Abraham, you become a real son of Abraham. Verse 8. What's more? The scripture looked forward to this time when God would declare the Gentiles to be righteous because of their faith. God proclaimed this good news to Abraham long ago when he said, All nations will be blessed through you. Verse 9. So then those who are of faith are blessed, which believing Abraham. Receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. Verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith verse 29 and if you are if you are Christ then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise may the Lord bless you receive your blessing may this month 
become a month of financial breakthrough in your life. Let us pray. Just raise up and we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear Lord, we thank you for this one time. Wonderful time, Lord. I pray for everyone to receive the blessings of Abraham. They have the faith in you, God. They have put their trust in you. They have, Lord, put their faith in Jesus. Release your blessing upon them. Let this month become the month of blessings. Blessings in their pocket. Blessings in their mind. Blessings in their home. Blessings in their store. Blessings in their business. Blessings in their school. Blessings in their children. Blessings in their families. Blessings in their church. Blessings in their society. Blessings in their community. I release the blessings in the name of Jesus. Receive your blessing. Receive a breakthrough. Receive your, your financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Let the power from above come let the anointing break the, the yoke of poverty enter into your destiny enter into your blessing in the name of jesus we pray and we praise you today and forever jesus amen thank you very much may the lord bless you